Hello Leo, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at your love for August of 2018. Happy birthday! So you guys get this reading for free and if you guys like this reading then become a patron on Patreon and you can get all of the love love scopes, the love tarot, for one dollar a month. So it's really worthwhile. You get all 12 individual signs done for you. And it's only a dollar. So it's twelve dollars in one year for all of my my uh, love love tarot. So check that out. Become a patron. Um, also, this is this is such a powerful time right now. In fact, I'm doing this reading, the specific reading for Leo, during the eclipse that is happening on the 27th of July. So as it is happening, I am doing your reading. So man, it, the veil is thin, and a lot of energy has been coming through, and I've been downloading a ton today just because of the energy that's going on. And so I also want to share with you guys, those of you who are in Colorado and are um, in the Denver, Boulder, Aurora area, uh, for the new moon that is happening in August, on the 11th actually, I will be hosting an event um, at Mudra Yoga Studio from, I believe it's going to be from... 1 to 2.30 around there. I'll get the logistics down. And it's at Mudra Yoga Studio in Denver, Colorado. And we will be celebrating the new moon, setting intention, and then also dancing, 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 um, and then coming back together and talking about the astrology of it and pulling tarot into it. Uh, so it'll be a lot of heart opening and the dancing will I will lead the dancing part of it and there will be some free dancing also but it's to take you on the journey to open up your heart space to allow the intention that you set for this new moon to come to fruition so if you're more interested in that give me an email I will also be posting it all over so you'll be able to see it all right so let's get into your love we're gonna do singles and then we will do uh, couples. And before I get into the singles, Leo, energy for right now is that of your kingdom. You are setting down roots. You are setting down the energy of your tomorrow. Um, and I also feel like you are finding your partner. If you haven't found your partner already, I feel like the energy will be that you will meet them. You will know them. You will see them this, this month, especially uh, before the 11th. Like you will connect with them in some way, whether it's uh, you know, face to face, or if it's spiritually, you'll know that they are out there, but you will know that you are not alone by the end of this month, which is really, really powerful. All right, so let's go into the singles and then we will go into the couples. Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine Leo. What messages do we have for my Leo couples? So this is for Leo's, oh, I'm sorry, I just said Leo couples. But it's for my Leo singles. So Leo singles. So it's with Leo sun, rising, or moon. All right. What is the energy? What guidance do Leo singles need? Singles, singles. Okay. Here it is. So we have three of pentacles, king of swords reversed. The sun, of course, you, you need to show up. Um, the six of staffs, five of staffs, three of swords, king of pentacles, knight of staffs, and then judgment. All right, so for my singles, like I said, we do have people showing up, and then I feel like you're going to meet that, that person who's really, really powerful in your life. And, and like I said, too, is, is it doesn't necessarily mean, like, it could just be a glance. It could be a moment. It doesn't mean that you're going to spend the rest of the, your life with them starting from this point on. In fact, I feel like you're going to meet them, and they're not going to be in the space to meet you. And that's with this King of Swords in reverse. So it's an air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But they you see who they are. You see where they're going. You see their truth, even though they are going through a tough time and they're trying to learn their lesson so that they can come to you. So with this energy that's happening here is, Leo, you have to continue doing what you need to do. In fact, it's going to be really difficult for you to do that. Like it's going to be hard for you to um, 
see other people. It's going to be hard for you not to want to fight for this person even though they're just not ready. And you'll feel it. Like they will just be blocked. They will just see you and, you know, you'll feel that connection. But they're just not going to be ready to have a relationship with you. And so this is this energy right here with the three of swords and the five of staffs is really truly your own personal guilt in a way because there are going to be other offers you're going to have other people who are ready to meet you to to be with you and i'm not saying that you shouldn't you know i think you should you know give all of these people a chance you know the king of swords is in reverse and even though you feel connected to them it's just not time to be with them they're not ready now these other two people are but you feel like you're cheating on the King of Swords, you're cheating on this person that you have connection with because um, you, you're, you feel like you're cheating on them because of that connection, you know? And you have to kind of, in a way, let that go right now because they're just not ready. So you shouldn't turn your back on these beautiful people who are showing up and you're not cheating on them. They're not ready. It's, there is no relationship happening with them right now. So I know you're going to have to like fight that urge to, to like be like, I'll die alone if I can't die with you kind of energy. But these two people are on the upright, you know, and the Knight of Staffs is trying to be there for you, is trying to help you through, in a way, like um, a difficult time. Like, I feel like you might have some of you guys might have graduated or wanted to graduate and it didn't happen. Like you have to stay in school a little bit longer or you didn't get the promotion you wanted, but you are getting the promotion you wanted, just not today. And maybe in a couple months it's happening. And so this Knight of Staff sees you, you know, building, but seeing you kind of in a way forlorn as well. And so they're kind of like, come on, let's go. Let's go have fun. Let's, let's enjoy what's happening. Follow me. And the King of Pentacles is is here too. And, um, you know, they're Pentacles, so they know how to create a really good sense of home and uh, finance and comfort. So they want to comfort you and let them. You know, if you feel comfortable with them and you also see their beauty, I mean, let them, you know, and be honest with them. Of course, I, you know, you should always be honest with them, especially with the judgment card popping up. So be like, you know what, I feel connected to somebody, but I really enjoy spending time with you. I don't know where this is going, though, you know. And so just let them know that that you have you have multiple choices. <laughs> but Leo, this is your time to shine. And especially with the eclipse happening, you're going through a very major transition in your life. You and Aquarius, man, you guys have you guys have a lot on your plate to um to download and to just uh, slowly work through. So Leo, give yourself time to spend alone too, even though um, you are going to be the center of attention in a lot of people's lives. So, okay. reflection. Like I said, you know, give yourself time to reflect. Give yourself time to to be with self and, uh, you know, date yourself a little bit and, you know, find the love and glory of self. That's going to really make a big difference in your life because it can be sometimes overwhelming to be so adored. <laughs> And you are. You are very much adored. And and I just want to reiterate, please don't feel guilty about this loving energy coming from so many different people in your life. You know, you are a light. You are a beacon. You are beautiful. And you do shine. So even if you don't feel it within yourself right now, you might feel kind of murky like, oh, I could have done better here. I could have done better there. People see your truth too. And they see your beauty. And uh, so that's why they are so drawn to you. Um, so take care of yourself and, you know, let some other people take care of you as well. All right, so let's move on to couples. Hello, Leo couples. This is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at your love situation for August of 2018. So let's get straight into it for you. I have my window open and there's kids swimming in the pool. So um, if you hear kids screaming and having fun, enjoy the summer. Enjoy the summer sounds. So, all right. Let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. What messages for my Leo couples do we have? Leo couples. What do they need to know? And this is for uh, couples who have at least one member who has a Leo sun rising or moon. Okay. Let's 
So Leo couples. We have the Page of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Page of Swords is reversed. And then we have the Ten of Cups, the Empress, and the Page of Cups. <laughs> Do you hear the kids like screaming? <laughs> Nine of Swords, reversed, the world, reversed. Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay. Hmm. All right. So some of you guys might be getting pregnant, actually. This is a good time. If you are wanting a child, this is the time. You can make that happen. Uh, with the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles right there and the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups. Like, this is a really, really fun time for you. And, and it's, um, there's going to be some changes happening. I see what the page is here. Like, you get a... See, this is interesting here. We have the Page of Swords in reverse here and the Page of Cups here. So it's like, I, I do see like fruition happening, um, like a birth of something happening within the, re the relationship. But on one side, it, there's, a, there's a positive and on the other side, there's a negative. With the posi positive, it's been something you really want. It's something that will make your emotions, your heart feel full. On the other side, it's going to be, it's like you're, you, you in a way can't, you're going to have to change who you are, not out on a base level, but how you live your life, right? And and you don't know how that's going to happen. Like your world is literally getting turned upside down. And so this frightens you. This frightens you. But the, this fear that you have um, is just purely because of the unknown, all right? It's purely because you have no idea how it's going to work out. But... And, and if you hold on to that energy in this with your with your partner, if you hold on to that energy, then it, it's going it will fall apart, okay? And it'll fall apart quickly, especially with this Knight of Swords in reverse. It's like somebody just flips out, has like a mental breakdown, and says, "Peace out, home slice. I don't even want to see you ever again." And, and it's all because of fear. It's not actually the truth of your relationship. However, if you guys come together and say, "Yeah, I have this fear." But I'm so excited, and we are creating something that is so new and so beautiful and so us. And you guys focus on that energy. Oh, man, look at this. Just look at how beautiful it is over here, okay? We've got the Ten of Cups, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Page of Cups, okay? That's all in the upright. And then we have all this negativity that, in a way, you just, I know that a lot of you guys are just going to let it go. But if you're having trouble letting it go, then let me help you let it go because it will change the the course of your entire life if you hold on to that. So focus on being grateful and the gratitude of having a child. And it might not be a child. It might be that you guys start a business together or you guys are going to do a renovation at home or, you know, somebody's cutting their hair and it's a big deal. You know, it could be something along a huge spectrum of, of, of shifts that could really shift you in, a, in, in the relationship. But the fact is the shift is such a positive, beautiful thing that to hold on to the unknown fear is, is so counterproductive. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's really healthy to have a sense of fear in a situation because it makes you really concentrate on the situation, look at the details, make sure everything is where it needs to be. And so having a healthy dose of fear will, will help us do better. But in this way, the fear that you are holding on to is crippling. All right, because you have something new coming in, a whole new wonderful way of life that is coming to you. And it is up to you to grab onto it and run with it and not hesitate. So you are going to get an opportunity within this, this relationship. The two of you are going to get an amazing opportunity. Maybe it's that you guys are traveling to Cambodia. You know, maybe you're adopting a child in Cambodia and you have to go there and you have to go there tomorrow. And guess what? You have your, it's like you, you can make it happen, you know? You have everything in order. Let's say you have your passport. And even if you don't, you can figure out a way to make it happen. Don't let the fear of it hold you back. Grab onto those reins and run with it, okay? So I do feel like one of the partners is going to be more hesitant than the other and be like, we can't do that. That's, it's just crazy. And so it's going to be up to you to make them look you in the eye and be like, this is our life we are talking about. We have to go for this. 
you know, so um, be brave, Leo, which you already are. You're such a brave per You, the, the, the sign is the brave lion, the sun. But now you have to really act on your bravery. Okay, so let's pull a love card. Retreat. Now this is interesting. My guides are saying read. Read this. Because I am saying that you need to... I, I think you need time with your partner to talk. And you have to talk quickly. <laughs> so my guides are like, just read it. So I'm looking for it. Okay. This is interesting because now I get why why all of these are where they are. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. The angel, on, and then I'll talk to you because, man, this is powerful. Okay. The angel on this card is asking that you slow down. Take a break. You are working and trying too hard. If something feels constantly out of reach or you are faced with obstacles, it does not necessarily mean that you are doing something wrong. Sometimes things take time. Clear your mind of the thoughts that have cast a cloud over you. Forget about things for a while and just relax. Let the sun shine down upon you. All will work out well when the timing is right. So here's the thing. You know, I'm like, you've got to take it and you need to go with it, which is in a way a little bit counterproductive to the retreat card. But you have to let go of that fear. It's like you cannot, in a way, you have to retreat in yourself. You have to find your own sense of calm. And also, here's the, this is the beauty thing, the beautiful thing about this situation, about if you're having a child or you're moving, da 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 da. You know it's the right answer when you feel calm about it. Like if you're making a decision and you go, oh no, 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 I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But if you sit in the situation and you go, ah, yeah, there's a lot, and I do have a little fear, but I know this is right. I can feel it's right in my bones. Then do it. Okay? All will work out, but you have to have faith in it. That's also part of retreat, is take a moment to meditate within self. Take some time to really make sure that you're grounded and your partner is grounded too, so that when you open your eyes, you can keep going. And also, in August, yeah, my guides are saying this, you and your partner need to take time together. You need to go on a retreat to the mountains, to the ocean, to a hotel, to a lake, somewhere and be together. Okay? This is really important. Try to do it at the beginning of the month. Even if it's just for one night that the two of you guys are together and solid together. Because that is also going to help you. Because even though this card came up, I am so clear about you you having a big shift that will happen. And no, I'm sorry, like, retreat is for a moment, but the rest of the month is go for it. Go for it. If you feel right about it, go for it. Okay. If you want a personal reading, you can find me on Facebook. You can email me, and you can also go to my website. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. It makes such a difference. And share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with people you think, you know what? I think they need to hear these words. This is important. So share, share, share away with that. And also, I'll keep up the information about the new moon um, celebration at Mudra Yoga, um, which is happening in Colorado. So I would love to meet some of you beautiful people so it would be great to to connect and if you have questions about it just email me all right remember listen to your heart and the body will follow until next time much love joy and blessings